And with that out of the way, let's actually go ahead and get into the game. Oh good, it's reading the disc. Last time when I was doing some tests, it took like five times for it to actually read the disc. That doesn't make me worry. You know, the only thing that allows me to actually use the Game Boy Player. good. You know, speaking of the Game Boy Player, it's kind of weird how the startup disc for the Game Boy Player is region locked. You have to have the one... You have to have, like, the English version or the NTSC disc and the unit. But meanwhile, the games aren't region locked, so, like, we're playing a Japanese game. It's a very weird... It's a very weird set of standards. Then again, what's new with Nintendo? So, where we last left off. We were just about to finish, or we were just about to go to the Rock Tunnel. And I don't like the Rock Tunnel, not at all. And I also just realized we never got Flash, did we? And I never looked that up. Oh no. Because Flash... Flash is an HM, and I don't have that either. I mean, we'll be fine. It's just a couple trainers, it's a, it's a little maze-like. Who cares? We can just run from any wild encounter. We can just feel our way through. Nothing weird will happen. Pikachu. Nice to see. Uh oh. Uh... Ivysaur. Wait. Ivysaur. Also, just for the record, for the highlights of this stream, you might have noticed a new mic. And although it's it's nice to have a new mic, I'm still kind of testing things out, so apologies if for the next couple of highlight parts this gets a little weird. Also, I'm not actually using a pop filter, I'm using foam that goes around the mic. So I am I just want to see if that's actually... Because I feel like that would be more useful rather than the pop filter, which is only in one direction. Because the, the nice thing about this mic setup is I think I'll be able to move around a little more, which would be nice. We'll have to see. But if it muddles up my sound, I might go around to just using the pop filter. I don't know. I mean, I, I appreciate you paralyzing me right after I get out of the Pokemon Center. It's a very nice thing for them to do. Only one trainer. I thought there were like three. Man, where the fuck is Flash? I don't even remember where it is in this game. I think it might be in one of the houses in Cerulean? Vermilion? Maybe one of Oak's aides have it? Like, talking to these people is actually gonna help me figure out where it is? Even if it was English? <laughs> I mean, we'll probably be fine. Right? Oh, oh, this is no- Oh, this is fine. I can still see all the walls and shit. No, this is no problem at all. This is. One thing that's probably gonna upset me with this new mic is... Oh, well, I can't see you. Well, that's a- that's a problem, I guess. That's kind of a cool trainer design. Cubone! Well, I'm not sure how, how well Furo is at chewing bones, but let's see.
Hey, wait a minute. Cubone's a rock type, isn't it? Oh, well, there's nothing to worry about here. Just tearing up! Slowpoke. Slowpoke, yes. Poke, not bro. You are not my bro, not yet. But you know who is my bro? Firo. I'm really glad I stuck around with them, because I am, I am, I'm liking them. Oh, disable. How fun. I'm feeling more and more like a professional gamer every day. Gamer. Ah, back to Pitch Blackness, my favorite! Yeah, Drowsy would probably be good for the front. So yeah, as I was saying... What was I saying? I had to pause there for a second. I can't even. Who am I? Who am I? What am I? Drowsy, can you make me remember? You're psychic. Psychica. Psyche. Psychic. I swear I'm hearing a. Maybe this isn't coming through on the stream, but I swear I'm hearing an echo on this. I know pro Oh, it's because I have the game on monitor and output. So if I have monitor off, that'll probably fix it. Yeah, I think that fixed it. What do you mean I can't run from an onyx? Bruh. There's this weird thing that goes on with OBS where, or with however I'm recording this game, where it just is routed to my computer and it monitors through there. But nothing I do in OBS, unless I deactivate the capture card itself, allows me to mute the game through my own desktop audio. Which can be really frustrating when I'm trying to do other things with the audio. I should swap. Yeah, I'll swap out to Ivysaur. It's probably a bad idea, considering this is going to be super effective. Then again, Solo Bro has never been much of a fighter. Slow poke. Poke, poke. Get the name right. Couldn't have gotten that crit on the first attack. That's always semi frustrating. That's always semi frustrating, you know? When you get a crit, but it would have been fine with just a normal attack, and it would have been better if that crit had been gotten earlier. Do you know how many times that shit happened to me in Ultra Sun and Moon? Especially with the friendship mechanic in that game? It's like, oh, great, Salazzle, you got a crit to impress me. Five times in a row when they were already about to die. What? Did I, did I really get a random encounter right in front of a trainer? Oh, that's awesome. Good. Please tell me that's paralyzation. I mean poison. Sweet. Oh, 
Oh, Bulbasaur. Oh, how fun. Now you can get confused as well. See, he's eager. He's eager for the confusion. Assuming the drowsy would land on the attack. There we go. <gasps> the confusion worked. I remember what I was gonna say. Ah, uh, thank, thanks, Drowsy. What I was gonna say earlier is, one of the odd things about my new mic is, or one of the things I'm going to have to cope with, is that it does not have a mute button. That was what was nice about the old mic. It, ha it had just like an on, on the mic button I could press to mute any sort of sound. Don't have that anymore. Which on the bright side, I won't have any sort of Pikmin 3 problems, as I like to call them. Did I get that right? No, I didn't. It just let me use it. Cool. But also, if I want to just, like, go on a BRB, I have to manually mute the mic in OBS. Which is fine. This is going to take some getting used to. That was an escape rope. I mean, fine. I just want to get the paralyzation off my drowsy. Which, like, this does that, but I'm sure I have a paralyzed seal somewhere, right? Uh, I don't know what's what. I guess it's time to go back to the old, uh... The old garble gook, I like to call it. Where is it? Where is it? Translate, yes. Alright, let's see where the paralyzation heal is. From top to bottom, we have Monster Ball, Named String, Tsuki no Ishi, Power of Kai, or Kaseki. Reckon no Tahoe, Ship Ticket. Why do I still have the ship ticket? I should get rid of that. Good luck. <laughs> Super ball, so this is a great ball, I think. Pee pee recover. If this is <laughs> please tell me pee pee recover is awakening. Really cursory. Peep aid. Peep aid. BB8. BB8? What? Mysterious ca- Oh, it is a rare candy. Yeah, for some reason this is being translated either as Peep aid or BB8. <laughs> like this, the fucking Star Wars character. This was- this for a second was a person's medicine. Wow, I hate this program. Please. Phone- uh, scratch. Oh, that's a great- yes, scratch. Scratch. Why do I have- what is scratch and why do I have 20 of them? Potion, I'm guessing. No, yeah, that is potion. Poppy. All right, whatever. I'll just I'll just stick to not using any sort of status effect item. I just wanted to know what paralyzed heal was, but hey, at least it's a good reminder of what a potion was. Won't have too many problems, I guess. If there is one odd thing about streaming 
at night or ooh, my chop. I hate its Pokemon green design so much. If there's one thing I like about streaming around this time of day, ooh, that encounter rate is that I try not to drink too much coffee because I used to drink three cups of coffee a day, or I think it would amount to like 16 ounces. Three cups of 16 ounce coffee. And uh, I, it started making me feel a little weird in a couple places, including like my chest. So I'm like, probably not a good thing. So I only, I limit myself to at most two a day. And I haven't had any problems, so I think that works. It especially helps that I'm not drinking soda anymore, too. But, I mean, it's still winter. I still like having some warm drinks. So instead of... So instead to try and get past the whole coffee thing, I instead make some tea. I just, you know, get some hot water, get the tea bag in there, a little bit of sugar. It's nice. Also, if you're doing any sort of voice thing or whatever, and, you know, you're straining your voice, just drink some hot tea or even, like, hot plain water. Because when, when your voice is feeling, when you've been using it for a while, and it's starting to feel rough, and you take that sip of some nice hot tea... Dude. Dude. <laughs> I can't express how good it feels. Mic test. Okay, good, you can hear me. You can slightly hear me while I'm in- while I am laying back on my chair. That's very good. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably set this chair up a little. That's one of the coolest things about this new mic. I don't have to have my drawer open just to hold the mic open. Or hold the mic on. So instead of being able to, you know, you're not going to have to hear that anymore. I'm, man, I'm just excited about this new mic, and not this encounter rate. It just allows me to do more. Or, well, I guess it, it, it less lets me do more and more... It gives me much more convenience. Ah uh, yes, another Geodude. Wonderful. You know, I, I hate to t I, You know, I hate to talk about my mic so much. That's, oh, that's self-destruct. Ah. Uh. Oh. Well, aren't you a fancy lad? Cool. Oh, that means- Oh, no, that just means Jarzy's dead, because I'm not going back. Because fuck Rock Tunnel. And that's why I don't feel too bad about talking about my mic throughout a lot of this. Because it's Rock Tunnel! What else is there to talk about other than it's just a dark maze? It's boring. Like, I know people complain about uh, sometimes in the newer games with caves or dungeons where they're just very straight, linear, you don't really think about going through them passageways. And that's fair, they can- Oh, great, I have Clefairy on the Geodude, cool. 
Yeah, like that's a fair criticism because sometimes it, it can be a little like you could have put you couldn't have put a little more effort into the level design here. But at the same time, I'm not asking for more of this. Which granted, they don't they can't really because they don't use HMs anymore. Who's gonna use Flash? Maybe as a key item or something, which would be fine. But when it's... This is not like any sort of fun gimmicks or anything, and it's just... Paths and... Mazes with trainers, and that's it. Just terrain and trainers and random battles all over the place. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan. Not really. Like, even though I, I struggled with Mount Moon because of various reasons, I didn't hate Mount Moon. I think it's fine. But that's only because Mount Moon isn't that long. Like, it's, it's a good enough length. The rock Tunnel goes on for a bit long. And it's, there's not even anything special like the first time you meet Team Rocket or the fossils or anything. It is just a tunnel. It is just a path. This was... Like, this was always one of my least favorite parts as a kid. And it still is. Unless this is the exit, in which case I've greatly exaggerated this place. Oh no, I, I think I I think I know where this is. I think we're close to the exit. I think we're like one or two rooms away. If I remember. Cause these should just be filled up with like a trainer, and then a trainer, and then a trainer, and then an exit for somewhere, and then the actual exit of the cave. Right, I have minimized. Yeah, minimized and sing. Eh, I'm not gonna risk the sing. I'll. And Clefairy misses. I see. Good to know it didn't matter what I picked, they were gonna miss anyway. I should have sung. I could probably give Hero a little bit of action. Oh, yeah, definitely. Great choice. Yes, I have level 21 Pidgey. I have not evolved them yet. Why do you ask? I am a very intelligent trainer. Ooh, Meowth. I think we've seen Meowth before, but... Yeah, we've seen Meowth before, but like, that is... That is I like that sprite. He's a chonky boy! Damn, look at Furo tearing it up. Oh, you, you can kind of see the exclamation mark. Oh, that's not... Yeah, that's not good. This was my biggest story with Rock Tunnel. I thought it'd be fine with Drowsy, but... <laughs> Self-destruct! Who would have seen it coming? Especially helps I don't even think I can get revives at this point. Not commonly. I mean, if I had revives, I wouldn't give a shit, but... Otherwise, it leaves me with one Pokémon to deal with. And granted, 
I could, I mean, I have the potions. I could just tackle through everything I need to, or double snipe, or fury attack, or anything. Sing, even. The problem is, I don't want to because that's really monotonous. Graveler. You really can't see his second pair of arms. It really just looks like that boulder enemy from Dragon Quest, but with arms. Or maybe that's what Graveler always was. I don't know. But what they always have been is very weak to grass. Okay, so I think we go up? Yeah. And then we should be close to the exit. No. Okay, I don't, I don't really think I remembered the layout of this place. Still, I think we're doing perfectly fine without Flash. Oh boy! Paralyzation and wrap. Thank goodness. I just wanted to see if Clefairy got one hit in. That's all I want. And now they're wrapped again. I will try one more time. Let's go. Damn it. Drained me of 77 health, didn't ya? Yeah, wrap me again. See what happens. Oh, suddenly you just switch to poison powder or stun spore. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Die! What else you got? Comedy. Really awesome how their Clefairy gets five hits and mine only got two the entire time this fight. And my Furo misses! Oh, honey. Eventful turn. Go fuck yourself. Hurt you as a kid. Or, well, a couple years ago, I guess. Alright, uh, here's the potions. I think this is a super potion? That is not. Oh, maybe those are the paralyzed seals. Please, I am, I am trying to move once. Come on, Wavebird. 
Let me heal my burden. I mean, I have 20 potions. I'm not gonna worry too much. Save just in case. Yep, just three, three regular old trainers in this one tunnel. I forgot to unparalyze Michael Ferry, didn't I? Well, at least we can figure out what the, the symbol says. Yes, I know what the numbers are. You don't have to... <laughs> the symbols, please! HP 40-80. That's not what I'm trying to look at. Please. It's right there. Aim at text. I am. Oh good, a sideways M. Very th yeah, very thankful, Goo. <laughs> Awful. Google Translate is useful. I mean, to be fair, we all know Google Translate is awful. I'm not legitimately thinking it's going to give me good results. I think it's just entertaining. But at the very least, it would be nice if when I point it at text, it would actually read it as text and not plain ass numbers. And I missed- I missed twice, didn't I? Mm. This is- this is not missing. I don't know what's happening here, but this is not right. bit of tackle action. Hit him with the tackle box, do some tackle boxing. BAM! Wait, what? Wait, 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 tackle. This is tackle. No, it's scratch. I am very confused. <laughs> and to aid in the confusion, let's translate. Alright, let's see here, we got... Oh wow, it actually translates... It actually translates Vine Whip to Vine Whip. Cool. Yeah, Doriki Seeds. Ikunokona. Don't you think? Don't I think what? Poison. Oh, okay, poison powder. Wait, what part of poison powder translates to don't you think? And how about the top text? You gotta, you gotta do it. Oh, now it's just a giant E. Cool. Okay, how about the top text? This. Yep. It's all good. Don't you think? Bet you know I don't. Oh, no move. Well, let's see. This is a regular attack. This is leech seed. Uh, leech seed, yes. That's Vine Whip. I don't know what this is. Or oh, that's Poison Powder. Do I need Poison, though? Do I? Nah. 
Oh, the first one's cut. You're right. That's how I got into the third gym. Yeah, I replaced it with Tackle. No wonder it looks so similar. Okay. And Bellsprout. All right, let's see what the new move is. I'm gonna guess Razor Leaf. That it is. Cool little animation there. Even though it doesn't do shit. Ah, Sleep Powder. Although, to be fair, what can, what can a Bell Sprout do to an Ivysaur? I mean, really. No, no, we, got, we have to figure this out first. Let me unparalyze my Clefairy. Which I think is this? No. Ah, uh, this? Yeah! Okay, nice. And I think Firo has it too. There we go, there we go. Figuring some stuff out. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm learning, but I'm getting results. Yeah, it would be fine otherwise. One trainer right here? Oh, this is the route with the trainers I was thinking about. I think. Honestly, flash. No flash. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna get lost anyway. Oh, what do you got? Let me guess, you have, like, a Bellsprout, maybe a Pidgey. And then, what else have I been fighting? A Rattata. Yeah, sure, let's go with those three. Let's see how right I am. Well, perfect score is um, automatically gone. Ah, I'm out of, I'm out of Double Slap, okay. That's a very pleasant sound, Meowth. Check this out. I missed. Oh well, I'm just, I'm just gonna pound you into oblivion. Bruh, that cat just robbed me. even a good move? Like, I know it's not a good move, but I mean, is it good for getting money? I feel like it's just a light gimmick that might be useful near the start of the game when you don't have a lot of funds, but I can't imagine it's actually that good for getting money. Uh, oh, and uh, here we have an Oddish, so that's another part of me being wrong. Cool. Watch them completely avoid any Pokemon I said and, like, throw out a squirrel or something. Hopefully, whatever comes out, Firo can take care of. Pidgey! Okay, well, I got one right. And, of course, it would be the bird. Oh, here we go again. Please, Firo. I just want one. Okay. Good. The attack isn't bugged or anything. And now we can just finish it off with a peck. Very nice. This is me putting my eye directly into the mic. Or, well, the mic foam. So I'm kind of talking away from the mic. I just want to see how it's picked up. Oh, poison. Lovely. Ah, 
I used to have a weaker mic, but now I can see. And it's pitch black. Oh, Clefairy is poisoned. Well, I hope I know what antidote is. That was antidote. Awesome. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> Very helpful. Oh! It's the exit. I'm going back. I think there's a Pokeball somewhere, if I remember. Like, to the left of me. I just have to hope mashing A works. Or, maybe I'll walk into it. Who knows? And I've already given up. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> the worst is over. But we still have some trainers to deal with. You know, I don't think I've ever gone through Rock Tunnel without not using Flash. Not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'll be honest. Also, not quite as long as I thought it was, but it was still kind of lengthy. Gotta love the birds. And mine's better. That's what I'm talking about, Fiora. Let's go. Nice. Oh, hey, Bruno. It's important now that we just clear out a path to the next town, because, you know, we need some levels for Drowsy. Also, the rest of the team is semi-close to dying. Nothing too major, but still, we should probably make a safe pathway to the next town so that that's self-destruct. Ah. Okay, good. Because if we die here, we get sent all the way back to the start of Rock Tunnel. And I'd rather not do that again. Try to give him that self-destruct shit. Come on, man. Looks like we got one more to deal with. I mean, I don't want Ivysaur to get all the experience, but also we I want to make sure I actually get through this. Let me guess. Two Geodudes and an Onyx. One Geodude and an Onyx. One Onyx. Come on, Geodude. 
Graveler. So close. Oh well. You're a trainer, aren't you? Well, nice to meet you. Okay, well, I, uh, hmm. So we're about to go to Lavender Town. I forget, was this game, uh, I mean, was this town's song changed in international versions to make it more, less, or less painful or whatever? I forget exactly what goes on here, but I think this might be, like, the original kind of Lavender-ish weird thing that went on with people's ears. I don't know the exact details, obviously. It's been a while since I've read up on this. But, uh, I guess if, if you're paranoid about that, maybe turn the volume down or mute it for a little bit. Just in case. Oh well, I can't be hurt. I'm already hurt enough. You know, well, I guess it's because I never grew up with this game. I grew up with Fire Red. I got less creepiness from the song and more a melancholy. More of a sadness, I guess. Maybe a little bit of eeriness, but it never really creeped me out all that much. That being said, I was still not that tough of a kid, so I, I still didn't like being around here. Also, let's go ahead and put Drowsy back in the front. Already in the front. Cool. Let's save, just so we don't ever have to do Rock Tunnel again! But to be thorough, we should take out the rest of the trainers there. I knew you were a trainer. Oh, a Q-Bone next to the Pokemon Tower. How quaint. Ah yes, that will do plenty for you. Just a... Yep. Battle of the Confused Psychics. And I'm confused. Ah! Well then. How about we do this instead? Come on, just don't get confused again. You gotta be all good, Furo. There we go. Oh, there was only... There was only... There was one trainer this way, and I could have skipped them! I was panicking for nothing! Unbelievable. Alright. Kind of unnecessary to heal up right now, but I may as well... No, let's keep going. Because there's actually something for us on this very route. I'll fight you first.
another Clefairy. You know, an, aw an awful lot of people actually have Clefairies. Like, considering the amount of time it took me to get one, I'm surprised. So many of these normal-ass trainers have a Clefairy. Then again, how many people are actually... Then again, how many people are actually earning their Pokémon here? I mean, we don't know how many people are given Pokémon as gifts, if they even bought them. I mean, hell, later we can gamble for money to get Pokémon with. Which, thankfully, I don't have to do on this playthrough, or any of them, I don't think. Oh, that drowsy is not gonna wake up anytime soon. Drowsy be drowsing. Now, now, now Fairy, here, here's a real multi-hit attack. No, that weak devil slap shit. And a peck. Good night. Oh, well, good for Jazzy. Uh, you have two Clefairy. You're cheating. You did not earn them. I know. I know you did not catch both of them. Out of here. All right, let's go heal again. Being slightly damaged? Nah. Being put to sleep? That's where I draw the line. I will not allow the song to drop. Not yet. Alright, I think in order to get what I need here, I need to cut this. And Drowsy should be more than fine for this. Because on this route, if I can just get an encounter, there we go. On this route, is a Meowth, but we're not using them. But I mean, hey, they're here. I think you could have caught them earlier. I think uh, in the route south of Cerulean, if I recall correctly. You're telling my, you're telling me my drowsy, twice could not run away from that, from that cat, that that cat. Sandro. I do not need a Sandro. I do need to run. Cool. Nah, Jazzy should still be fine for what I need. Come on. Another Meowth. Now, let me guess, it's gonna take me twice to actually be able to run from them. One. All right, fair enough. I mean, I'd rather not use a potion, but... These cats have forced my hand. Oh yeah, more Pidgeys. Can't run from that either. Oh, more insane attack. Uh, you're making me blush. Come on, I'm begging you.
they're here. I know they are. I know the Pokemon I want is here. I mean, I could check them in the Pokedex just to be sure, because we have seen this Pokemon. But I don't want to spoil the surprise. This is the most I've ever spent in this single patch of grass. I usually just walk by it, no problem. Don't even think about it, but now that I need a Pokemon from it? All day, every day. They're here. I know it. It's it's the, this is the one. It's meow. At least running isn't too bad. Pokemon I've been looking for, and the next member of our team is this here, Vulpix. With the, the odd Pokemon Green sprite in its face. exactly why I want a Vulpix. I think I just wanted a decent fire type. Oh! One hit. Well, well good job, Drowsy. I mean, good battle prowess, I will give you that. Now we gotta spend more time looking for another Vulpix! Oh boy! Next time I ought to just throw a Pokeball at it, we'll be fine. Whatever. Who, who needs to weaken Pokemon? We're, we're fine. Oh, that was actually relatively fast. I think it's a little weaker, but that's fine. I think. Uh, hypnosis. Okay, now let's actually scratch instead. Much better. And one Pokeball should do. There we go. Got a nice little Vulpix for our team. I know this is a bad idea, but I'm going to translate this to the best of my ability. Or, well, my phone's ability. I see a six. It's a good sign. Okay. Oh, that is a lot of garble. Although it is a child. Uh huh. Six one three A zero. It's nice. Oh, 
<laughs> but six of her girlfriend. It's awesome when you do. The tail grows, or probably means glows, brightly. Close enough, I guess. Do I want to give it a nickname? I mean, I should. But um, am I really the one who should be giving nicknames now? So, let's go ahead and pop Vulpix onto the overlay. There we go, the missing hole is now filled by Vulpix. Makes me happy. We actually have most of our team. Also, I forgot to replace Spiro's icon with a Firo. Oops. Why- wait, 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 why does Vulpix have the cow sprite? Or I guess the four-legged creature sprite. That does not look like a Vulpix. Come on. Come on. Then again... I mean, at least this has a flower like Ivysaur. That's actually a Clefairy. Bird. Kind of has a similar figure to Drowsy, I guess. But w w come on, this <laughs> this is this is doing Vulpix injustice. And thus, with a new Pokémon, that means we also have to grind for said Pokémon. Which definitely won't take a lot of time, as if two of my Pokémon aren't already behind my other two. Uh. Yes, let's get full picks in the front. I don't even know what they have for moves. Yeah. No, you know what? It'll Let's see, we have... Ah, the second one is just tail. Three tails. The top one is saw. And the bottom is Sango. This way, ah. The second one is now look at the tail. Alright, I'm guessing we have Scratch, Tail Whip, and... I don't know what the third one is. Zongo Seka, Dengo Seka, Soko Seka. Make up your mind! Whatever, we'll just have we'll just have to figure out what the third one is on our own. But otherwise its moveset's pretty basic. I'm sure we'll live. Into the tower we go. Bop bop ba da 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 So here we are at the Pokemon Tower. So here we are, gamers, chilling at the Pokemon Tower. <laughs> Where the dead sleep. I know we don't often think about Pokemon dying, but, you know, they do. And, you know, Gar good old Smelly is here just to be a bother. Maybe maybe he was putting a Pokemon to rest himself, who knows? That is a theory. Because, the, well, the theory, if you, if you don't know it, is... I'll tell you after the fight, but pay attention to his team. What in God? Whoa, what? 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 Vulpix! What? That is not a Vulpix! You look at that sprite and tell me that's a Vulpix. 
That is like a Shiba with a banging ass mohawk. Probably gonna die in one hit. Uh, we're fine. Oh, quick attack. We actually have a Pokemon with that now. Cool. Look how much that did. Oh, and now this Gust? Oh, we'll live from that too, definitely. Oh, we did. Alright, cool. Clefairy. Get its ass. I would argue Sing is essential. Especially if it's gonna keep doing insane attack. Uh. Uh. Okay. It's only gonna get two hits. Oh, man. Alright, we'll just stick with Pound then. In reality, it was probably a better idea to switch to Furo or something. I'm, I'm gonna keep going with Pound. I don't trust Sing's accuracy right now. Even though it, I got it the first try. Or was it the second try? The first try after Sin Attack. Let's go with that. And away they go. I'm feeling... Firo is a good option. Maybe. It was! Well, look at that, they got an Execute. Who are not eggs, but rather seeds. Still don't know why they call them execute. Also, their sprite is massive in this game. Like, they're big boys. I still don't understand the biology of multiple entities counting as a single Pokemon. Like this, Magneton, stuff along those lines. Why why are they only why are they all classified as a single Pokemon? I've never understood that. I mean maybe. If it's like a Pokemon and then another entity, it's not technically its own Pokemon, like say with Kangaskhan or Slowbro. I can kind of make an exception there, but when it's something like Execute or, again, Magneton, where it's just the same Pokemon, what quantifies this being its own Pokemon? Jazzy, her turn. Oh, okay, you just suddenly have a Gyarados. That's cool. What the hell is that? Uh huh! Get him, get him, get him, get him! We gotta move fast, Drowsy. Fast and swift. Swift as this motherfucker swims. And hopefully we confuse him. Or just kill him outright, that'd be great too. You know, we got we gotta get a move on though. We gotta get a real quick move on. Okay, I think we made it out. By the skin. Of our teethed feet. We've done it. I, I don't know how Drowsy lived at 1 HP there. Miracle worker. And there's Kadabra. I mean, we should just be good with Peck, right? Yeah, because they don't have great defense. Like, special status through the roof, but defense? Not much. Of course, if we... Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now they have Charmeleon. 
And we don't have anyone... Yeah, we don't have anyone good against Charmeleon right now. Although we should soon. <laughs> Who knows? Clefairy. Oh, that is- that is great! Hang on. Okay, it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes when I hit my desk with my controller, but sometimes it doesn't actually get picked up by the mic. I'm happy about that. Also, just one other odd thing about this mic is that with the, the foam I'm using to cover the mic, it is sort of my semi-replacement for my pop filter. It doesn't actually cover the entire mic, it covers most of it, because I'm actually using this from a previous another previous mic I had. And it doesn't quite get all of it. But it does cover where sort of the, the increased airflow of saying like, pepper would be. So, uh, it, it's, it's an improvement still. And I don't know, if it allows me the frame, I think it does. As opposed to my usual pop filter, I think it's fine. Nice. How's this feel to be beat like five times in a row, Smelly? Does it smell? It smells like death in here. Okay, so now that that's over with, I'm actually gonna go heal while I talk about this. If you had noticed on Smelly's team, you might have noticed that he changed out a Pokemon or two. Specifically, he didn't have his Raticate anymore. And in fact, we're not gonna see him with that Raticate anymore. Now the theory is, he was at the Pokemon Tower to bury his Raticate because it may have died for whatever reason. And that's just a theory, there's nothing actually saying that, or whatever. It's, it's just something cool to think about, I think. I mean, you could also just say it's because Gary's actually a decent trainer and he's catching enough Pokémon that he doesn't need it, but it's like, why would you just have five Pokémon? You can have another Pokémon, so why wouldn't you have the Raticate? You may as well. I don't know if I'm one to believe the theory myself, but I, I think it's interesting at least. Yeah, they look cool. Ah yes, ghastly, looking like a vape cloud. Uh, as as always, it's very 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 crystal clear to me. Oh, I don't have anyone good against this, do I? Oh wait, no, I have Drowsy. <laughs> no, we're fine. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, these Psychic types are kind of powerful. Alright, let's make the Ghost type. They'll, they'll be good against Psychic types. Alright, uh, what kind of Ghost types do we have? Just one, Ghastly, maybe give it two evolutions. That's fine. Also, make them a Poison type, which is weak to Psychic. Uh, and then give the Ghost type no actual strong moves. Like, for being the only ghost type in the game, they're not exactly great psychic counters. I think the best ghost type move in this game is... Lick? I think? I mean, hey, at least in Gen 2 they get Shadow Ball, but still. Uh, 
I just want my Vulpex to learn some sort of fire move. Something that allows them to give me their true power. Strap in, folks. We're going to be seeing a whole lot of ghastly. Oh, I hate that battle sprite so much. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. Is that? What the fuck was that? Ah, Confuse Ray. Fun. <laughs> you might have escaped the Pidgeys and their sand attack action. You might have escaped the Zubats and their Super Sonics special ability to piss you off. But you haven't escaped the confusion, no sir. Gotta go. Just, just gotta act like my my ultra sun and moon mudsdale and go my own tempo. No, nope, but I gotta break my stride. What? Ah, oh, that's right. There's a weird thing in the Pokemon Tower where you can't see wild Pokemon because they're ghosts, because they're spooky, I guess. So I think you can fight them maybe, but you cannot catch them. Except spoilers, they're all ghastly. We can see trainers ghastly, so I don't know why we can't see them. Maybe just something to have us look forward to when we come back here later. Let me guess, two ghastlies? Oh, wow. Huh. Although, if I can give the ghost typing one credit, is that normal type moves have no effect on them. Check it. Cut. Doesn't do a thing. Which means a Pokemon like Clefairy is absolutely useless here, and Ivysaur is poisoned. Oh, that's that's great. Oh, wait, no, 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 not poisoned, they're paralyzed, because they've been licking us. Got us licked. Oh yeah, what's this new? Oh yeah, Razor, Razor Leaf. Why am I not using Razor Leaf? semi-effective. Ah, uh, no, we're fine. Ivysaur is a nice, strong, developed Pokemon they can take care of themselves. Sucks to be wrong. Yeah, Drowsy will probably outspeed him. The Pokemon that can't run from Meowths. Who's the real one that's confused? Well, guess that's that. Ooh. New, no new move? Okay, cool. Now fight another Ghastly. Do it. Do it. I dare ya.
You want variety? No thanks. <coughs> now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Zeter, didn't you just say Clefairy is useless? Yes, well. Give it a second. Well, maybe I could show it off if I didn't get confused every goddamn turn! There we go. You can still sing to them. They're, they're beautiful, dulcet tones. And then I can switch out to Firo. And sure, Vulpix will get less EXP, but I also won't have to worry about getting a game over. And I think that's a little more important. I mean, in reality, I really should just switch to Firo, but I need to play it safe. No, I, I should just switch to Firo, because the thing about ghost types is, ghost type attacks also don't affect normal types. I could have just brought Firo out, and I would have been fine, probably. I played that battle out pretty dumb. I'm just gonna be lazy and use an escape rope. There is a place in there we can heal, but... We're close enough, it's fine. Oh wait, didn't we get a- didn't we get a rare candy earlier? Well, if that's the case, I'll go ahead and use that. Alright. Alright, you piece of shit, Google Translate. I know you suck, but you were able to figure out what was a rare candy before. So, do it again. Ship ticket. Do that, that. Really? BP aid. I know I have a rare candy in here, just tell me which it is. Mysterious candy, here we go. See? It sometimes works. And unfortunately, it did not give us another move. But they're a little stronger, at least. Although, I'll be honest, I was kind of really banking on them getting Ember or something from that. Don't be laughing at me like that. Ah! Well, let me save before I do this. But I forgot to check something. You see, I've noticed that there's a weird, and I've mentioned this in a previous stream, but I haven't mentioned this in Pokemon before, so let me do this now. I've men mentioned that my capture card is weird and that I listen to the audio directly from the capture card because that's kind of how I have to do it. And for some reason, there's a weird gradual audio delay where the more I stream or the more I use the card, the more the audio starts to desync with the video. So my odd solution to this is to go ahead and deactivate... Ooh, that's a weird tone in the music. But my thing is to deactivate my capture card real quick for a second. Uh-huh. And reactivate it. So now it's showing up and... Yeah, it should be fine now. Except, wait, hang on a second. I deactivated it. It's not showing up in the stream, but I can still hear the music just fine. What?
Hang on. No, okay, I, I don't know what's going on with that, then. I'll just have to figure it out later. This audio setup is really weird. Later still. I j look, look, okay, look, I ju- I- look! I just want you to look at the Vulpix sprite on the right of the screen, and then I want you to look at the battle sprite. What went wrong? I just want to know! Alright, Ghost, I get it. You keep showing up. I'm just gonna run from you. Ugh. Where is Luigi when you need him? Who's ready for more ghastly? Yay! Clap, children. Clap with me. You know, this would be really good for grinding with Drowsy. Did not want to do that. Oh, and I'm confused. Ah! Oh. Well, it looks like it didn't matter that I accidentally selected Scratch. Great! But this would be great for Drowsy, it's just the problem is I need to switch to him because I want to get Vulpix some levels. <laughs> every time I- every time one of my Pokémon hits itself with confusion, I die a little inside. Much like this ghastly just died. Ooh, something for the drowsy. Why not? Yeah, why not? Give me something. Uh, scratch. Yeah, uh, I don't use the third one. Why not? It's probably nothing that great. You know, really, I probably shouldn't- I, I just shouldn't bother with Vulpix right now. I could maybe fight a little bit with them, but with Ghastly's being... Ghastly! I just don't think it's worth it. I should be and should have always been using this as a drowsy training ground. Oh, it's a psychic move. I wonder what it could be. That was... I'm stupid. That was hypnosis. We already had that! Okay, no, really, what is this? Well, it's apparently a normal move. We'll find out later. Whatever.
Mm-hmm. All right. Ah, more. More! More! Is this where I think? It? Is this where I think? Okay, yeah, this is where I want to go. All right, cool. Let's fight them real quick. Oh, they're nice. Okay, so this is a really odd occurrence. You don't see this too often. But you walk here and bam, Pokemon's all of our Pokemon is fully healed. It's just a weird little thing. But hey, don't have to go all the way to a Poke Center. And it's much appreciated. But that's not going to help the monotony of the ghastly. How dare you hit me first? Learn some manners. And then we can just walk to the spot. We're healed. Perfectly healed. It's amazing. Ah uh, yes, a mystery item. I mean, it's not a mystery item, but it is. Ah! Yep, you're a trainer. I bet you have a high. I have a ghastly. Oh, shit. They have a haunter. Haunter looks kind of cool in this game. Got that big old scary face. The claws. Look, looks, looks real nice. Looks real nice. And you're still just confusing me. No, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure the confusion will just go away. Yep, there we go, finally! Enough with it, three turns in a row bullshit. Out to the spot. Get interrupted. Healed. More trainers. I'm so thankful there's only one floor after this. Oh, another haunter. So many different sights to see. Twenty-five? Twenty-five. Anything new? No. I shouldn't be greedy, we already got a new move last level. 
that I still don't know what it is because I haven't seen anything that's not a ghost type in here. Ghastly and a hunter. Surprise me. Do it. Ghastly. I know gas. I know all. There's a bunch of ghastlies here, and I know they have confuse ray. But do these ghastlies have hypnosis? Because they're putting me the fuck to sleep. No, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. I have I've had enough sleep today. I think I had eight hours of sleep. I don't know. You fight me. Give me experience. You know, I have noticed that the level up that Drowsy got has made him stronger. I just wish it was it would allow him to take out Ghastlies in one hit. That would be, be very much appreciated. Beavity, brevity, beavery. Beastily, boastfully, boisterously. Bodaciously. Bewilderly. Basically. Vicariously. No, that's vicariously. Damn it. Ah, oh, well, I had a good run. You know, I know the Pokemon Tower is nice and all, putting all these Pokemon to rest, laying them to sleep, and all that, being respect- being respectful of the spirit world and death and everything. Hold that thought. He's thinking. He's thinking! Our drowsies evolved to Hypno. In one of his only appearances where he doesn't look like a complete fucking creep. I mean, he still looks like he's up to shit, but he, uh, more like more shenanigans and less, uh, yeah. But hey, th that kind of creepy stuff wasn't written about until Fire Red, so let's not think about it. Oh, this bell sprite's kind of nice. But yeah, it's nice how this is like a nice, respectful place to rest the dead. And you've got all of these, all of these like spirit channelers or whatever here. And they've all got ghosts. They've all got ghosts they've captured and are fighting with. <laughs> it's like they don't even. Yeah, and you know what? To spoil it a bit, in Gen 2, they turn this place into a radio tower. They dead ass just move all of the Pokemon bodies, or dead bodies, I don't know if there's people here either. They just move them all into another town, or another house in the town. 
It's like, do they care or not? I don't know, it's weird. There's a lot in this game that's just weird. <laughs> But on the bright side, we can now take these guys out in one hit. And we're faster than them. Okay, well we can't take them out in one hit, but we can at least get one hit in without getting confused. I will take every little bit I get. Oh, these random encounters. I mean, I'd be running from them anyway. But, like, just, uh, come on. Uh, uh, um, uh, no. Haunter. You can't even give me that mercy. Then I will show no mercy. Oh, I love the GameCube controller's ergonomics. I need something for my hands to do. And believe it or not, we've actually made it to the end of the tower. Kind of. Well, we're, we're done here for now at least, because if we try to go up these stairs, we'll get a turn back kind of message. And we'll fight this big, strong, level 30 ghost. And if we try running from them, uh, well, we get pushed back. So we're done here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my last escape rope for the sake of saving time. Okay, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just got a very distinct aftertaste in my mouth of McDonald's french fries. I'm not sure, maybe it's because I've been drinking my tea. It's just plain black tea. I don't know, that was a, Maybe I'm, my mouth's getting dry, I don't know, this is weird. This whole stream is weird. On the bright side, we're done in Lavender Town for now, so let's go ahead and move on. And now we should be able to grind a little bit for Vulpix. The gamer. He's here, and he's got a growl with. Well, I've got a Vulpix. And even if I wanted a growl with, or wanted to use them in this game, I couldn't, because they're exclusive to Red. Wait. Oh, this was Ember the whole time. Oops. Oh, well, not like it would have done that much to Ghastly. Although, just because I'm not catching a Growlithe now, doesn't mean I won't catch a Growlithe sometime in the future. I don't know what Pokemon's gonna be next. I'm just gonna throw in Vulpix. It's a Vulpix, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Double fire type. I don't need to have any sort of competition with this Vulpix. I already know theirs is better than mine. 
and that's fine. It is good to know that my Vulpix has Ember. At least, you know, something that goes along with their typing. He'll be helpful for, actually, pretty soon. And going back, just to heal. I should probably buy more potions, although I'm not actually sure if there's a shop or not here. Maybe there is. Maybe they have revives! Yes! Further disrespect the dead! That is not a store. The Mart! There it is! Yeah, there we go. Uh, ooh, what's this? A little, little, little pretty little number of 1,500 poke. Well, here's the escape rope, so let me go ahead and stock up. Oh, wait, would these be revives? Because revives are 1,500, aren't they? Let's find out. Fragment of Kenki. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything other than a fragment of Kenki. Although it tells me it's not an ultra potion, or I mean a hyper potion. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a re act actually restore. And of course we get it at Lavender Town. Give me 10. I'll take 10. Wait, did I actually get it? My inventory is full, isn't it? Alright. Well, at the very least, I know I have a ship ticket I could probably get rid of. Oh, it is so weird having an item box. Or having to need the item box. Because, I mean, we've had item boxes and PCs uh, for a while. I don't know if they still have them. It's just weird actually needing to put stuff back in. Like, okay, this is the ship ticket, right? Right, phone? My good old buddy, the phone? Ship ticket, yeah. I'll just do that for now. Having revives is really important. You know, I'm really glad that I'm playing a game like this, where it's just basic movement. I don't really need to worry about precise... More precise 2D movement. Because, I mean... Playing games like that with a GameCube controller can be really weird. Because, okay, you have the control stick, and that's fine. It works fine, but... Still, using a control stick for a 2D game isn't always great. So it's like, okay, I'll just use the D-pad instead. But the GameCube's D-pad is really small. Like, really small. And it's also not great, because it's also one of those D-pads that likes to... If you're pressing right, and you press a little... If you press the right part of the D-pad a little too upward or downward, it'll also read up or down. And that's not great. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the GameCube controller, I really do. It is fantastic for some games, and still really good for most. 
But, like, if I'm gonna play something like... I don't know, just generally like 2D platformers or something... Not really my first choice. You know, while this is going on, I should probably replace Spiro Sprite with Firo. See if I can do that. I mean, I'm not missing anything. Switch to Vulpix, that's about it. Oh, Muck! Figures. The one time I'm like, okay, nothing special is gonna happen. No, we get a muck. That's cool. He does look very normal. I know it's a weird thing to say, but considering all the weird sprites we've seen, that is a relatively nice looking muck. From one of the grossest Gen 1 Pokemon. Gross in a good way, though. Like, I mean, that's his point. Okay, here, here, here's the light himself. It's Firo. Ooh, look at him. He's flying around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah! All right, now I just gotta shrink him down. And get him in there. There we go. Very good. Very good, Firo. Yes, yes. Now we just block out Spiro, and then we just replace Spiro with. Get this. Firo! Except I think it's gonna be a little uncentered because of how I have this set up. Oh well. I don't know how well that looks, but we're gonna roll with it. I fixed it. Hooray. Speaking of Firo, you doing alright about you doing alright against this muck, my Firo? Come on, you need one more hit. You might be poisoned, but you've still got it! Yes, my bird! Ooh, new move for Firo. Well, let's see. There's Peck, there's Fury Attack, and I'm not using anything else. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, which is probably Growl. And we'll figure out what else that is soon enough. Everyone give me a primer. They always just called me a grimer. My life's ticking on a timer. But I'm not gonna cry, sir. Firo's poisoned, right? Yeah, it's 16 HP. I can make it back before then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have sustained eye damage. Oh, there's definitely audio sync going on from, at least from how I'm hearing this. This is not great for me. It's probably fine in the stream. But I just have to remember, I can't really do stuff timed to the music. There should be a line of four trainers right here? Yes, indeed. I will separate you all. Coughing, cool. Yeah, it's great. Alright, uh... 
F hero. Let's see what that new move is. All right, what have we got? Wait. This isn't just tackle, is it? Oh, I think it's mirror move. Maybe. No. Yeah, it is. Because it's a flying type attack. Because it has the same symbols as here. That's mirror move. Huh. All right. I could probably get some use out of that. You know, I can just check out the full image on this on my other screen. Goodbye, coughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. The furo is a little too big. I'm gonna fix that right now. There we go. It might have evolved, but he's still, he's still a small bird. Small to us, at least. Why do you have to have five Pokemon? It's just gonna be like four level 18, 19 Pokemon. Wait, but that's actually really good for Vulpix. No, this is a good thing. Why am I complaining? Pokemon my Vulpix can actually take on by itself? Yes, give me more without being wild Pokemon. Ah, yes! Yes! This is great! Ooh, a burn! You can even see a little bit, little bit of red fire going on with that Vulpix there. It's nice to see. I'm actually gonna use a potion. Because they're gonna die to burn. I mean... Yeah, just to tell what we're fine. Level 20, let's go. New move, new move. No. Not doing great on the move side, but that's fine. We've got an Ember. We are... Steady rolling. My money! Alright, now the Meowth is a little too strong. We gotta swap. You know what? Yeah! How about- how about I take some of your money as well? Yeah, 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 give me some of that scratch. Yeah, yeah! Mirror move. Oh, that's Pikachu. Run! Double slap should be fine. Oh, but we're paralyzed. Boy, we got hit with the status effects this battle. Uh, it would have been nice to get some more for Vulpix, but that was still pretty good. 
Ah, good, we have to deal with this. <laughs> the beautiful sight of a poisoned Pokemon once more. How about, no, how about, you know what? How about instead, I just go ahead and block the game. And you can still hear through the desktop audio. So you can you can still hear me playing the game. You can hear you can hear the sound of my I believe it's my Firo who got poisoned. Just suffering away, you know. That's all you need. That's all you need is the sound. Well, gee, Pokemon, maybe if it didn't make so many weird screen effects that didn't exactly age well, I wouldn't have to block the screen. And granted, it's not, not, it's not necessarily just for the viewers. It's also so that when I have to watch this over and over again for highlighting, it doesn't hurt my eyes. Because the thing is, an unfortunate thing about doing a bunch of stuff online, or on my computer, or what have you, is that my eyes start to get strained. You could also blame my poor sleep schedule on that. True. It's also part of the problem. Yeah, it's just... Eyes haven't been doing the best they've ever been. This is not a winning fight for roll picks. When will we start fighting winning fights? As if I've ever lost a fight this playthrough. It's gonna be the other Nido Ran. It's an obvious choice. Nido Rena. That is, uh, just about as obvious, but I didn't call it out, so fair enough. Come on, use something cool. Use something I could use to really hurt you with. I want to get the most out of Mirror Move. Never use the move too much, but honestly, I'm starting to see the appeal. Alright, it's been three hours. Who won the Super Bowl? Not that I care. I just like to stay up with things. Because I'm not going to talk about it. But people I know will. And I want to be in the know. Well, it was a the, the first search result when I did who won was who won Super Bowl 2021, but then it changed to only two results. Who won Ho, H-O-H, -H, or who won The Bachelorette 2019? Excuse me? What would ever give you the idea that I would look that shit up? <laughs> there, okay, who won? Oh, I think it's still going on. How how long how long does this take? I mean, apparently the Buccaneers are winning, but whatever. I'm just gonna say the Buccaneers won, and then I'll be my happy-go-lucky answer. I don't care. I don't watch it. It's perfectly fine thing, you know, people get into it, it's not for me. Really sporting, just like, sports in general, I just don't care too much to watch. Playing, I like playing, I mean, I like playing sports, but not so much watching them. And 
the same kind of goes for esports. Like, you think, yeah, because they're video games, maybe I'd enjoy them more. A little, I guess? Like, I do like pushing for esports. I, I think they deserve to be acknowledged as, uh, as like, an actual thing, but I just don't really watch them myself. Maybe that's because the biggest things are, like, MOBAs, and I just don't care about MOBAs, but... Oh, goodbye, Furo. My bad. I mean, it would have to... If I watched him, it would have to be, like, a game I'm into, and even then, not really, because, I mean, TF2's got some eSporting events. I don't really watch them. Overwatch does. Even when I was into Overwatch, I didn't fucking watch anything. I watched Smash tournaments sometimes, usually just top 8, but ever since they went online, I really have not paid attention to them. I mean, it's a bit of a shame. I know the scene's still going around, still showing events. It's just... I don't know. I just remembered, I have a bike. I've been going around this whole time walking back to the Pokemon Center. I've had a bike since the entire stream. Why haven't I been using it? <laughs> I really wish they let you register a key item in this game. It's not like there's not a button for it. They have the select button. They added it in Gen 2. It's such a shame they didn't let you do anything like that for this game. Unless they did, I just haven't noticed it. I don't know what's going on with, with the cursor here. Oh, I see. It just allows me to swap the positions. So that's what the select button's for. Wow. Pointless sorting. Although no, now that I know how to do it, I'm probably going to use it more. Oh, it's... <laughs> really, really, the bike is so... <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's so great. Is there anyone over there? No, it's just a small path. I know they added bikers to this area in Fire Red, but no such luck here. Yeah, we'll, we'll clear out the rest of the trainers around here. Voltorb. Energize, Captain. I would fight them with Vulpix, but I know they have Sonic Boom, and I don't want to be dealing with that with my Vulpix right now. I mean, they can settle for Tackle and Screech all they want. But I know they'll just bust out the Sonic Boom. Maybe a self-destruct if they're feeling spicy. Yes, hit me with that sweet guaranteed 20 damage. While I hit you to death. Ooh, Vulpix learned something. Hope it's good. Coughing. Alright. Well, let's see if what Vulpix got was a fire move. It is not. I'm gonna guess it's like quick attack. Look. <laughs> Good, good turn. I guess I'm not gonna figure this one out. 
Oh, good. Now my Volpix is poisoned. Awesome. I don't know what that does, but we're gonna keep trying. I have given up. Yes, become strong bird. Strong bird, the bird I always wanted you to become. Soon you will. And I'll show you all. I'll show them all. Some powerful stuff, Drowsy. Hi hypno. You're a Hypno now. And I shall address you as such. Agnomite. See, my Hypno is not the type to just put people to sleep with that little, little uh, circle he's got. No, he he's more he's more the type to just beat the fuck out of people with it. You know, just... Do some clacker style shit from JoJo Part 2. He's one of those guys. Mmm, that's a good effect. Alright, where's the antidote? I don't even know if I have any. Let's find out. Come on, I've gotta have something here. Mahi Support Bicycle PPA at all Tapiata Oh hey, this is another rare candy. I don't know, man. Maybe I should just let him bleed out. Let's find out. Let's see if we have anything useful. Nope. Not gonna risk it. Not like I know what it does anyway. We're just gonna have to deal with looking poorly. It's okay, just have the screen flash whenever they get poisoned. Don't have, like, an icon pop up in the top left or anything. No, hurt their eyes. They'll feel it. We want them to actually feel the poison. Through vision. Oh, that was hypnosis. That's not good. But it's okay. The red waters of Poliwag's water gun. Shit, take us down. Or it's red bubbles. Wait. What do I know red bubble is? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Enough with the red bubble. Look, just just let the Vulpix die. Polyworld. Actual Polyworld. That's uh 
Looks pretty dopey, actually. <laughs> kind of like it. Honestly, yeah, Vulpix, just, just take one for the team. I don't care. Friendship values ain't shit to me. How do you live from that? I still don't know what this move is. Oh well. Yeah, I could probably get Furo in there. See if Fury Attack does anything. Great. Well, joke's on you, I have an awakening. Somewhere. No, I know I know I know my phone told me what awakening was before. I know this for a fact. It said sleepiness or something. Yes, this is sleepiness. Right here. I mean, uh, 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 uh here. Sleeping heron. Why oh, yes. That does kind of describe Firo. Alright, I just need you to do... Come on. Yes! Let's go, Firo! Pulling through. I like this bird. You know, it's worth pointing out that Awakenings are actually pretty useful in Gen 1 as opposed to other games. Because in other games, when you wake up in the middle of battle, you'll still do your turn. Meanwhile, in this game, you have to waste a turn just to wake up. So using an Awakening actually is pretty useful. Because, I mean, there's no benefit to just waiting for your Pokemon to wake up on its own so it can do a normal attack. So you may as well just use an Awakening. And here we are in beautiful Celadon City. Celadon, not Celiadon, like I thought it was called. Celadon. But if I say Celiadon, it's not my fault. I mean, it is, but I mean, hey, I'm trying here. I'm trying to be better. And there is quite a lot we can do right now. I, I just try to press select to bring on a bike. Oh well. Where's my bike? Ride. Well, actually, first thing we should do is we should go ahead and go in this, in the back of this building. Or no, we need to go in the front of the building. I mean, there is something we can do in the back, but that's not really that important for this playthrough. That is probably horribly out of sync. No, what we need to do is we need to go right in here. Talk to this old lady. Kind of an odd sprite she's got there. Kind of looks like, uh... I don't, I don't recall quite what it is, but it's like some weird springy enemy from some game. Maybe the Chews from Link's Awakening? I don't know. But basically, you talk to her, I think. Or maybe it's the person who's one floor up? No. Okay, no, no, I, I think I know what I have to do. I think I need to first go to where I- to the gate. Because what I- what she's supposed to do is she's supposed to give me a warm drink that I'll be able to give to the guards around Saffron, and that will allow me to open up Saffron City. But I think I need to actually trigger that first. Ah, yes, this is very clearly an entranceway. Thank you, game. Yes, yes, I know, I can't... And if I can't do this now, after talking to them, then it probably means I need to do stuff with Team Rocket first. Speaking of Team Rocket, hey. How you doing, buddy? Not gonna fight me? In the middle of the streets? In broad daylight, where everyone can see you get beaten down in 4K? That's what I thought. Ah yes, Pokemon Green in 4K. Brilliant. 
Okay, yeah, we can't do this yet, but we'll come back to it. In the meantime, how about we open up some other things? And of course, we have the shop here, which we will need to go to. But not quite yet. We must further develop the team. So first off, we need to use... Cut. So we can get back here. I think there's a trainer up there as well. Nope, I'm wrong. Fine to be wrong, though. Ah, and down there is the cycling road, where you need a bike to go to. And it's a nice little quick shortcut to get to Fuchsia City. But we're not going there yet, because we actually that road is actually blocked off. But we have this house here. An important house, because in this house, there's a lady with a bird. And I'm pretty sure it's a Spiro. Maybe a Pidgey, I don't know. And she gives us HMO2, otherwise known as Fly. Which means we can backtrack to any town we've been to. Glorious. Glorious fly. Firo, it's your time to fly into the sky. Let's see here. We got Peck, Mirror Move, something. Fury Attack. Let's get rid of this. I'm pretty sure with this, Firo now is one of the strongest Pokemon on the team. Because fly is a pretty strong move. Oh, yeah, they have a Spiro or Firo. I didn't recognize it from the name, just from the Pokemon Cry. Yeah, but we can't actually go down there because there's a big old Snorlax block in the way. Look at him. Look, look at this adorable little fella. It's such a cute Snorlax sprite. Oh well. And I think we can actually use Fly, yeah, because we I think we need to defeat Vermilion City in order to use Fly. We needed to take out Lieutenant Surge in order to use Fly. Yeah, yeah. So we can just go back to wherever we need to go. Very nice, very simple. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, that's Vermilion. I'm dumb. I thought it was Fuchsia. For a second I was thinking, wait, does this game let me fly to any city? That's broken! No. But hey, fly's always good to have. Not just as a move, just as a convenience. I'll never have to worry about escape ropes again! I wish. Unfortunately, to get our last party member, we're going to need to know Surf. And we can't know Surf until we are able to get past that Snorlax. And in order to get past the Snorlax, we need to do Team Rocket stuff. Oh boy. But really, do I want to? Do I really want to? No, I don't. And because I started streaming this a little bit later, I don't really want to go on for that much longer. By which I mean I'm gonna stop things here. Sorry to end things kind of abruptly today. But I feel like this is a decent place to stop and doing what I want to for the next stream should put me in a good place for what I want to do. Yes. So I'm just gonna stop things here. But hey, we made some decent progress. We got through the rock tunnel, which didn't, which wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We did the Pokemon Tower stuff, got to Lavender Town, you know. We found Vulpix. They haven't quite been that useful yet, but who, they'll come into their own, as Furo did, as Drowsy did, as Clefairy did. And we made it to Celadon City and got Fly. I would say we made some decent headway for a good less than two and a half hours. So, that's going to be it for Pokemon Green today, and for this weekend. And just to make things clear, I still don't know 
if there's even going to be a concrete time with Pokemon Green going into the future. I just know that I'm not going to be able to stream it at my old time anymore because of work. And so I might be able to do it on Saturday nights, kind of like what we did today. But who knows? Sunday is probably the safer option. So if you want to know exactly when I stream Pokemon Green, it's best to just keep up with the channel in general. And if you don't care about the other games, I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, maybe, maybe pop by for one of those other games. You might, you might really enjoy them. But either way, the next time you stream this probably will be on Sunday at some random time. And if you need to know exactly when I go live, you can always follow the channel and turn on notifications. Or follow my Twitter where I post every time I go live. If you need to see any previous games I've streamed, or previous streams of this, you can go to Zeter Streams 966 Mod, the YouTube archive channel where I host every previous stream I've done, and any other links you may need are also on the description. With all that said, thank you for watching. I hope this new mic setup proved to be good, and it won't make me go crazy in editing, and it will therefore save me a lot of time going through and editing videos, and maybe we can really pick up the pace on the channel really start to get it to grow and hopefully I'll keep up with the highlights new one on Tuesday here's hoping <laughs> ah, but you know thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed yourself and have a great day